What's going on YouTube? Today I am fishing. It is 5.17 a.m. Uh, it's really dark outside. It's, I got here like 20, 30 minutes earlier than I really expected to, which is perfect. That's perfect for top water. It's really cold though. I uh, didn't wear pants. It's like 50 degrees and so it's a little bit, little bit chilly, but not too bad. I don't think the wind's gonna be too bad. I'm with my buddy Aaron. He is in town from college. He goes to college somewhere up north, back down south. We're gonna go fishing today. He's never, never been deep cranking before, so I'm hoping to accomplish that goal as well as he hasn't caught a topwater fish yet this year. So hopefully, he's gonna accomplish that goal. Third goal of the day: catch a northern pike. Haven't caught one yet this year. This lake has those. So let's go. We're gonna see if we can catch some. It's nice and early. So I'm gonna start off with top water. Uh, you guys probably can't see. This is actually his parents' boat. That's what I bought it from. So we're gonna we're gonna take the the old SS Dink Slayer. I don't know what that's called, but it's cold, it's dark. Alright, let's do this. Well I'm starting off with a top water. I know you guys can't see anything. Got out here a touch early, but that's good. I'd rather be a little early than too late. Gonna be making some blind casts in the dark. See if we can wake some of these fish up. I don't know. I don't know. I've got a I've got a good feeling we'll catch one. There's one. Oh no, we missed it. All right, let's see if uh that one actually blew up on it too. Let's see if I can let's see if I can throw the old finesse rig behind it. A little switcheroo ski on him. Yep, he's got it. Yep. Got it? Yep. Oh, Just gotta do the little switcheroo. There we go. Woo! Some, some, not bad. Woo! There we go. First fish. He's got me. He's got. Tang he's tangled up in my other line. There we go. Not a giant, but I'll take him. First bass of the day. Used the old top water to find him, and then threw in the old finesse worm to actually seal the deal and catch the fish. See you later, buddy. Sometimes the little switcheroo can do it. That's a good tip for you guys that are watching. If you guys are like, if you guys like topwater fishing and are getting frustrated because you just get short strikes or whatnot, do that. Just This is just a little finesse worm. It doesn't matter. I, you could throw a weightless Senko. It's literally just anything because they when they when they hit a topwater, they think they injured it and they're just kind of waiting for something else to fall near them. And uh, nine times out of 10, that'll do the trick. Oh, you got one. Yeah. Oh, buzzbait fish. Aaron's hooked up. There you go. That's Aaron's first bass of the day. That's a pretty good one, too. The old buzzer did it. We were just saying, I don't think topwater's going to be doing it, but now that that sun came up, definitely helped out. There you go. First fish. Sun is coming up, as you guys see behind me. He's been eating, too. Yeah, that one. Finally. Finally a topwater fish. I'm still throwing the spook. He's throwing the buzz bait. He mixed it up. I got a couple of strikes of the spook. Didn't didn't have any connections, so he threw threw the buzz bait. Maybe a little bit harder striking and more of a reaction biting. Worked. It's good. Topwater fish. Let's catch another one. Perfect for around here. Oh, oh! There we go. Topwater fish. Come on, buddy. Spook? Yeah, dude. Finally ate the spook. I think it's a good one too. I like I don't even know. I didn't even set the hook. I was not expecting that at all. Oh, yeah, baby. Dude, that's a good one, too. Holy crap. That's a three-pounder for sure. There we go. First uh, spook fish, I think, of the year, actually. I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but I know I haven't caught a whole bunch of them yet. Uh, that's pushing three. Not Probably not quite three pounds, but that's a solid, solid little chunky bass. Two, eight, four. That's about what I assume. Pretty, pretty close to three. All right. See you later, little guy. Sick. Dude, spook. Yes! Oh man, it must be Halloween because it's getting spooky. All right, that was a really bad joke. No, it's it's mucky and gross, but it, it'll, it should hold two and three pounders for sure. It's not gonna hold the big ones, but. Yeah, there it is. Oh! How'd that happen? You had it. I set the hook pretty dang hard. Well, bass one, me, zero. Just saying, this, this vegetation's kind of gunky looking. Looks like it would hold some two and three pounders. No giants, though. There's one. Second I said that, too. That's a good one. That's a really good one, dude. Nice. That's a three pounder for sure. Biggest one of the day. Ooh, Come here, buddy. Woo! Oh, yeah. 
look at this poor little guy. He's all looks like someone literally just like took a knife to him. I've never seen. Oh him. man, I feel bad for you. Yeah, that's a good fish. It's probably about the same size as that as that last one. Topwater frog. Like just saying, we gotta get bit here. This is just it looks too saucy. See, you, buddy. Yeah, finally. Gosh, dang. I thought I was going crazy, and I don't know. This just this just looks great. I just couldn't believe that I wasn't getting any more bites, and then. Right when I said that, bam! All right, folks, like I said, uh, Aaron never caught a deep crankbait fish. And I was actually gonna show you guys, give you guys some tips on, on deep cranking, how to find like structure and whatever. And see my depth finder right down there? Yeah, not working today. Don't know what's the deal. Just literally won't turn on at all. Thankfully, I do have my, my deeper with me. This is usually what I take to ponds and I just had it in my, my old tackle bag. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this out. Uh, this is gonna be kind of a new experience for you and me and see if we can find some structure with this and just kind of show you guys what it looks like on, on, a, on a depth finder. And, uh, and then that's what, that's what we're gonna be fishing today for the, for the quote deep crankbait fish. So all you gotta do is you just gotta connect this bad boy to your phone, cast her out there a little bit. So you just kind of move the boat and uh, drag the deeper behind you. And you guys can see all those little green humps, those are all rocks. So that's all structure that fish might be hanging on, especially if it's windy, find a place with current. You can see there is a ton of rock right there. And this is kind of an, kind of an awkward angle for you guys. But as I'm, as I'm just kind of driving the boat along, you can see it's very rocky. That's yeah, a little bit easier to see. All, that green, all those green humps, those are all rocks. So that's what we're gonna be fishing today. That's normally what I would show you on my depth finder on my boat, but since it's not working, you guys get the old deeper view. Some really, really nice humps right there. You can see that those are that for sure should hold some fish. Once that wind picks up, I think we're gonna come back and try to fish some of that. For now, there's no wind, so like fish don't usually hang on like rock piles and stuff without without a whole lot of wind. We're gonna throw a little bit of a couple crankbaits here. Uh, I might throw a jig. I don't think he's gonna throw a crankbait just because he hasn't thrown, he hasn't caught a deep crankbait fish ever. See if we can catch him, and then we're gonna go flipping. And then once this wind picks up, hopefully later, you know, maybe around noon or so, we're gonna come back and fish all those rocks that we just that we just found with with the old deeper. So if you guys want a deeper, I will link it down below. It's a pretty sweet tool, especially for pond fishing. If you guys are bank fishermen, kayak fishermen, or you're like me and uh, have a really crappy depth finder on a boat, sometimes these little guys can come in handy. Fish? You got a fish? Aaron's hooked up. First deep crankbait fish. Dude, that's a good fish. Yeah, he, he that bottom hook just came out. He just hooked him right in the belly. There you go. First one. Dude, that's a freaking chunker too. That's, that's what we're after right nice. there. Sitting on the uh, the old structure down there. So that's your first deep crankbait fish ever. Correct, yeah. It's not super deep, but it's still 10, 10 or so feet. There you go. Nice. There it is, Maybe folks. Yeah, one. we gotta get a picture. That's his very first deep crankbait fish. I say deep as in 15 feet, but still still kind of cool. Wind is starting to pick up. Aaron and I, we're gonna, we're gonna try to do a little bit of flipping. We're letting the wind pick up just a little bit. Like I said, we scanned, uh, found the rock pile, caught a fish, and we fished for like another 20 minutes and no fish. Um, a lot of times when it's slick, calm, fish, they just don't, they don't group up on rock piles or brush piles, anything offshore they don't really relate to. When it's calm, they usually like hanging around uh, like trees and, and brush brush piles, like like more shallow stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna flip a little bit. As you can see, the, the wind is picking up just a touch. Once it picks up, it should pick up in about 30 minutes. Um, we're gonna go back to those rocks that we found with the deeper and uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get him some more, some more crankbait fish, just cause it's, it's something new, something he's never done and it's kind of, kind of fun. But for now, for now, let's see if we can catch, catch a fish. Oh yeah, and I'm throwing, I'll show you guys the lure I'm throwing before. This is the lure, 10 inch worm. This is, uh, this was the soft plastic of choice for my top five summer baits. It's pretty much summer. It's getting close, it's in, in June. So let's see if we can catch a bass. It's on like this little like fuzzy. There's a fish. Yep. Dude, that's a big one. That's a big one. No net, shit. <laughs> no net. I just looked. That's a big one. Yep. Yep. Big one. Got him. Yes. Dude, just pop. Look at the hook just flopped out. Dude. dude. Biggest one of the day, dude. That's that's a three and a half to four pounder. Oh, that's it's got to be. Yeah. Look what he ate, dude. Told you, big old worm, ten inch ribbon tail worm. Yeah. Absolute freaking donkey. Dude, what do we got? Four, three, four. Yep. 
four three four four three four almost a four and a half pounder dude Woo. dude's feisty my god that's a big fish well there it is folks the first big of the day four a little over four and a quarter flipping the trees just start flipping the trees aaron caught the deep crankbait fish we're gonna wait for the wind to pick up just a little bit more before we get crank i'm put this guy back in the water see you later lucas I don't know if it's a girl or a guy, but name's Lucas. Yeah, that's good. That was uh, not, I only flipped a few trees, threw on the, the old 10 inch worm. It's just kind of a staple in uh, any type of post spawn summertime bass fishing. I put it in my top five bass fishing uh, baits for summertime. That is why right there, because it catches big fish. Hopefully there's more where that came from. Let's see if uh, Aaron's throwing a jig, see if he can catch one or if the 10 inch worm's gonna do it. I don't know, we're gonna see. Let's see if we can catch some more fish. Got it. There you go, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's a good one too. It's a really good one. Aaron's hooked up. Oh yeah, that's a big one, dude. That's a big one. <laughs> Woo! There you go, first flip fish of the day for Aaron. That's a freaking football. Yeah. Holy crap, that's a football. Look at the belly. Holy crap, dude. That's awesome. I was just saying, let's go throw some crankbaits and there's a flip fish. Nice, good work. That is probably three and a half pounder or so. That's a, that's a freaking good one. Because otherwise we're gonna run out of trolling motor battery really quick. There's one. That, nope, didn't take long. Yep. There we go. They are on the rocks, boys. That was first, ow, that was first cast with the old crankbait. That is first fish, see you buddy. On the moving bait, it's super windy now. We were just complaining about an hour ago how there's no wind and now there's almost too much wind, almost. And so we, uh, we flipped for a little while, Aaron caught a fish, uh, not much more. So we wanted to try these rocks, see if this wind's pushing like this, see if it's pushed any bait fish and, and then the bass are shortly shortly behind it. We're gonna see if we can catch any fish. I'll throw a chatterbait down there. There's one. Dude, that's big. Who's that? It's a big bass. It's a big bass. Oh God, dude, it's a big one. Holy crap. I... Dude, that's a toad. Come on, buddy, come on. What are you just saying you don't like chatterbaits? Oh my god, dude. Oh, it's close. 396, I mean, essentially a freaking four pounder. For those of you guys who don't know, 0.96 is, it's, it's to the hundredth. So that's holy crap, dude. Another freaking toad. Got that one on the old bladed jiggy jig. Look at that fish, woo, smoked. See you later, Lucy. I just decided to pick up this little the white church's bladed jig we're fishing this little area there's a lot of grass this is the first time we found grass here on this entire lake there's literally no grass anywhere and uh aaron was on the spinnerbait getting, getting caught up and i tried to frog nothing that was like my third or fourth cast with the old bladed jig that dude freaking nailed it oh 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 come on eat it eat it oh my god dude that was a toad i don't know what happened completely missed it i'll throw my frog in there again otherwise i'll throw the sanko what what? How? I knew they're back there. Come on. Perfect. Come on. Yeah, we might have missed out before. Yep. There it is. Came back. Came back for seconds. Come on, buddy. Yep. Come on. Came back for seconds. That's a freaking good fish. Bring him over the rocks. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Woo! Oh, oh yeah. Three pounder. As my trolling motor's getting destroyed in the rocks, that dude absolutely freaking choked that, that frog. I thought it was a little bit bigger than that. I saw his back when he ate it the first time. I thought it was like four or five, but that's still a three pounder. Holy crap. I can't believe that. I can't believe that fish came back. If you guys are watching this, this is like, see you later guy. This is literally like 10 a.m. Hot as freaking crap in here. I don't know why I'm still in a sweatshirt and super sunny. 
And for some reason, I just decided to pick up the frog at the last second to fish this last stretch before we take off and go somewhere else in the lake. Whoa, my heart's racing after that one. God dang. There's one. Yep, yep. Oh God, dude, that's a big one. Yep, that's a good fish. Come on. First cast, first cast. Just barely, like, just pecked it. I thought it was like a baby, so I wasn't really trying too hard. That's a good one. Whoop! Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. Just barely, barely hooked. That was on the old finesse worm. That's a chunky, chunky, probably two, two and a half pounder. See you, little guy. I'll show you what I'm throwing. This is one of my new favorite baits. I don't know, I don't know why, it just catches a lot of fish. Basically, it's just a shaky head, it's kind of like a little, little Sanko on a stand-up head. I'll, I'll link everything down below. All my, all my rods, reel, line, lures I'm using today, I'll link it all down below if you guys wanna check it out. But, this is, uh, this is definitely working. Again, this is one of my, this is one of my top five uh, favorite summer lures, was this, some type of a finesse shaky head worm. And it did it. All right, let's even catch another one. That was first cast. There's one. <laughs> There's another one, dude. That's two for two. Dude, that's two for two. I think I might have just found a new juice spot. Holy crap. No freaking way. Two for two on the old Ooh, finesse rig. Boy. Stay down, big girl. <laughs> dude, I think I found a school of them. Dude, that was, that's a bigger one, too, for sure. That's a three-pounder. That's definitely a bigger fish. That is two for two. Look at how freaking chunky these things are. Absolutely ridiculous. See, guy. We like, we almost gave up hope and we're like, yeah, we might, we might just head home soon. And we pulled up on this spot that I've only caught, I've caught a few fish here, but not like really consistent or anything of size. That is two for two in the same spot. There's just some rock over there and we're fishing in like, I would I don't have a depth finder, like I said, I throw my deeper out there, but it's probably about 10 to 15 feet. And they're just sitting down there. There's one. Nope, there's one. Crankbait fish, that was first cast on the crankbait. We just got done flipping and I wanted to hit this last spot. Dude, there's two of them, two of them, two of them. Dude, I just got two bass. I got, dude, I just got two bass and one came, one, no, the other one came off. Oh my God, no, no, no. I've never done that before. I had two bass on one crankbait. No, it came off. You have to prove it though. I do, yeah, I, I pray to God that GoPro got that shot. Dude, that was awesome. I just had two Probably two and a half to three pounders on one crankbait. Can you believe that? I think they may have moved up since the wind started going, and uh, there she is. See, buddy. Oh my God, I can't. I just on the little crankbait, first cast. Mm. Two bass. Never in my life. Never in my life have I ever have I ever done that. I know there was like there's nothing you could do about it. We don't have a net. That was kind of stupid. If we would have had a net, it would have been easy. Gosh, dang it, that was sick. Oh my God. I wonder if that's worth anything. Hell, I'm not catching me here. Yeah. I'll just kind of, except for that. You're shit, man. They choked it, dude. He choked it. Hey, uh, I think I have the right bait, sir. Oh my God, just, I don't even know if I get this fish out. Choked it. Ooh, ooh, just by hook myself. There she goes. See, buddy. Whoa, chill out. Yeah, that hit right at the boat. Again, we were just, I caught one on the first cast and then cast about 10 more times, nothing. And we were talking about moving spots, trying to figure out where these fish are, and bam, I just caught one. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't own the water, bro. I don't, I, I, this, I point out, I don't even get it. It's just, it's kind of funny to me. I mean, you must be pretty terrible at fishing if you have to come sit on this. Well, folks, that is the end of today's video. No, did you guys, I mean, I. Like, I couldn't believe the guy that just straight, like, I've been cut off before. That, that takes cutting off to a new level. That was a thousand times worse than the you don't own the water bro guy. Like, I was probably 10 feet away from that guy's boat. I caught a fish, he saw me catch a fish, and he motored right to me. I don't even know, I don't know why I didn't fight with him. I should have yelled at him and 
called him mean names and stuff. I was just kind of like, I thought like maybe he like, maybe like seen the videos before and was kind of trying to like mess with me or something like that. Like saw us filming and was like, you know, trying to mess with, like the dude was like genuinely just being an ass and he just straight up cut me off. And that was pretty much about it. It was, uh, it, it, like I look back at it now, I'm glad I didn't yell. I mean, you, you never want to fight guys. I know you guys probably wanted to see me fight, but you don't want to fight. Fighting is not good. Looking back at it, I'm probably, I, I'm glad that I didn't fight with him. He asked me like, the, he pulls up on me for, like 10 feet away. Doesn't say anything for five minutes. Then he says, you guys catch any nice ones on the crankbait? It's like, what? what? Like, as if he never did that. I don't know. I'm like, I'm just like beyond, I, I can't believe he did that. I really can't. Um, but who cares? At the end of the day, who cares? I caught a bunch of fish. Aaron caught some fish. It was a good day. Good day out on the water. If you guys want to know any of the rod, the reel, the line, the lures that I was using today, everything will be down in the description. It is in the description of every single one of my videos. So from here on out, if you guys want to know what I was using, uh, all the links to all the products that I use in every video, always in the description. Always, if you want to check out some flare gear, you guys can. Really do appreciate when you guys support me. But I'm not going to make the video any longer. We junk fish. We caught them on uh, buzzbaits, spooks, frogs, chatterbaits, 10 inch worms, uh, flipping plastics, like a like creature bait. Uh, chatterbait, deep diving crankbait. Uh, I don't think I caught any on a jig. I, we basically just junk fished our entire way around this lake, and it worked. We caught some fish, some of the bigger fish I've caught out of this lake today. Uh, I usually don't catch anything over four pounds, so that's good. But I'm gonna I'm gonna pack this boat up. I'm actually going to Florida in the morning. I don't think I'm gonna be filming any of it. I think it's more of uh, Guggen Squad stuff that we're gonna be doing, but we're gonna be down there tarpon fishing. So. I gotta get home, I gotta do some laundry, you know, all the fun stuff, maybe probably edit this video, and then pack, pack my suitcase, and go to Florida. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and peace. I'm pulling right up on me. Dude, I'm coming this way, you're going that way. You don't own the water, bro. Oh!